Hi booktube, Lynette here and as the title of this video suggests I have a confession to make because I've broken my book buying ban again. I am in blaming entirely Jess McGlynn over at Jess McGlynn and Amy over at Little Devon Nook because if they hadn't done videos about it I would never have discovered it and I wouldn't have bought anything. Uh, what I'm talking about is both Jess and Amy have been approached by a subscription service called A Box of Stories um, to feature on their channels, which they have done and with great success. Um, the reason I broke the book buying ban is I'd explored A Box of Stories before, um, just after Jess had done it. None of the um, boxes actually appealed to me, but then Amy said that they were releasing a fantasy and sci-fi box and i was sold the premise of a box of stories is that a lot of books millions of books every year uh, go to be pulped before they even get sold and read and that's purely because there's an excessive printing so what a box of stories are doing is they're buying up these books in bulk and then they are curating for their subscribers a box they have a crime box, I think they have a young adult box, I think they have a mixed box um, and now they have the fantasy and science fiction. And as soon, like I say, as soon as they said there was fantasy and science fiction, I went over to see if um, they had any boxes left because it was a limited run and they did and I subscribed. Uh, so I have received my first box. Um, I'm quite intrigued by it. I have already opened it and the books are already on my shelf but I've taken them off because I thought I really need to admit to this because you're going to see them come up in a video and I'm going to have to explain myself so I thought I'd get it out of the way now. Uh, so let's just go through the four books that I received. So the first book is called The Imaginary Corpse by Tyler Hayes. Again I have looked at the back of these um, but I'm going to read the blurbs to you because I can't really remember what they're about. So let's, here we go. In a world where Toy Story meets Sin City, a dinosaur detective battles his own trauma and a remorseless serial killer hell-bent on shaking up an already messed up town. Tippy the Triceratops was once someone's best friend, a sunshine yellow toy detective imagined to help make sense of the world. But inescapable tragedy forced Tippy to be set aside, still loved, still real, but now abandoned. So he found a home in the underbelly of the imagination, a place called the Still Real. But friends keep disappearing here and Tippy is left chasing a mysterious figure who can do the impossible, kill an idea, permanently. With fear and anxiety already ripe on the streets of Playtime Town, Tippy must face his own demons before all that's left is imaginary corpses. Oh wow, that actually sounds like Toy Story for adults. Um, I, I'm quite intrigued by that. I want to dive in and read that. Um, I might have to give that a go on the mood reading sometime soon um, because I'm really, I really like the sound of that one. So a good first choice from a box of stories. So the second book that came out of the box is Implanted by Lauren C. Tafo. I don't know if you can see that quite well. Um, <clears throat> again, don't really know what it's about. This is clearly science fiction. Uh, so I'll just read the back. When college student Emery Driscoll is blackmailed into being a courier for a clandestine organisation, she she's cut off from the neural implant community which binds the dome-shielded city of New Worth together. Her new masters exploit her rare condition, which allows her to carry encoded data in her blood and train Emery to transport secrets throughout the troubled city. New Worth is on the brink of emergence, freedom from the dome, but not everyone wants to leave. Then a data drop goes very bad, and Emery is caught between factions, those who want her blood and those who just want her dead. Oh, so again, science fiction sounds uh, quite intriguing. Uh, so a bit of a mystery. Um, sounds like just up my street, to be honest. Um, a little bit of everything I like in there. So again, I'll uh, stick that on the wheel of TBR and see if it comes out anytime soon. And then the third book out of the box is The Uploaded by, and oh, I've got to find that, Ferret Steinmetz. Um, again, it's not one I've heard of. I quite like the cover. It's a bit different. Again, I'll just read the blurb from the back to you. Life sucks and then you die. 
In the near future, the elderly have moved online and their consciousness now live within the computer network. But that hasn't stopped them interfering in the lives of the living, whose sole real purpose now is to maintain the vast servers which support the new digital version of heaven. For one young orphan, that just isn't enough. He wants more for himself and his sister than a miserable life slaving away for the dead. It turns out that he's not the only one who wants to reset the world. Oh. So again, very definitely sci-fi. Um, again, the, the last two books, in this, the, this one and the last book, they sound a bit kind of Matrix-ish. Um, I enjoyed the Matrix films. I didn't get them, but I enjoyed them. Um, so yeah, so again, sounds like something. I'll stick it on the uh, TBR wheel and see if it comes up anytime soon. And then the final book out of the box is one that I've heard of and this is because I actually had an ARC copy of it before the paperback release last year. Um, I never got round to finishing it, I did start it um, and I did enjoy what I'd read so I'm looking forward to picking it up and I'm quite glad that I've got a paperback copy. Um, but that book is The Thousand Deaths of Ardol Ben by Tyler Whitesides. Um, again, I'll read the back to you. Meet Ardol Ben, ruse artist extraordinaire. Hired by a mysterious priest to attempt his most daring heist yet, Ardor knows he'll need more than quick wit and sleight of hand. Assembling a dream team of forgers, schemers and thieves, he sets out to steal from the most powerful king the realm has ever known. But it soon becomes clear there's more at stake than fame and glory. Ard and his team might just be the last hope for human civilization. So again, I'm actually really looking forward to picking this one up I think I'm not sure this is going to be added to the wheel of TBR I think it's one that's going to sit in front of me until I pick it up it is mahoosive as a paperback um I haven't actually looked into how many pages hold on a moment yep 730 pages of book um so not one I'm going to get to quite soon but is one that I keep thinking about because I did have the NetGalley um, ebook version. Um, I did leave a, a review for it on there because what I'd read of it, I really enjoyed. Um, I didn't get too far into it. I think I only got about 100 pages in. Um, but yes, I did thoroughly enjoy it. So I'm looking forward to having that one in my possession and picking it up sometime soon. So there's my confession. I've added four more books to my TBR. Uh, what I will say is the subscription service uh, that a box of stories provides is you can either have um, just the one box, so just pick up one box, you can have it every month, every two months, every three months or every four months. Um, I have gone for every four months because I don't want to add that many books to my collection. Uh, I have very limited space on my bookshelves um, and I have no scope to be able to expand that space other than maybe putting some of my bits like my my Harry Potter ones and my mugs and that away and, and double uh, this shelf is already double stacked there's a load of books in behind my Robin Hobb it's just that I prefer to have my Robin Hobbs on view um, and they are stacked sideways and they are stacked upright and yes um, trying to find room for them all is uh, going to be a challenge so yeah I went with one every four months um, and I think I'm going to have to be ruthless and start unhauling books when I've read them if I'm not enjoying them instead of buying them, reading them and keeping them, which is goes against the grain for me, really. Um, but there we go. Um, did you see any on there that you like the sound of? If you did, let me know in the comments down below. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, then please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I upload videos every Monday um, with maybe the odd bonus one in between and I will see you all again next week. Bye!